How's it going guys? To make sure back with some more Jackbox Party Games, we have completed our whole rotation of every single Jackbox Party Game. So we are now doubling back and doing some of our favorite ones. If there's one that you want to see in particular, leave it in the comments section and we might play it. Uh, we are joined again by D-Man. How's it going, buddy? Hey, so that's uh, yeah. I was gonna do the Dan, the Dan thing, but no one else wanted to do it. Uh, Scorp, you oh, gotta start. Oh, could have done Dan Q. The Dan what? Because all our names are Dan. Two, one. And uh, we did a couple videos Hello together, and we called ourselves wave, Dan Cubed. Everything. People eating mm. ice cream, ice cream. That is our. DQ. You name it. That's, oh, D cubed. That's pretty good too. Sorry, hard to say that straight. We use it to play... Gespionage! Ding, 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 ding. Here we go. <coughs> Gespionage, everyone's favorite guessing game. Ha, Was it? I, yeah, I don't All know. Right, buckle in. I made that, that up. Okay, so it's gonna ask a question. About spare um, keys. They actually didn't explain the rules. Of people have spare keys hidden somewhere outside their homes. A lot. So, so each person gets a question, and then whoever is guessing will guess their percent, and then after he picks his percent, we say if we think higher or lower. We have an answer. Thirty percent. So, do, do you think thirty percent of people? Definitely think more. Do you think if it's more or less? Uh, I think less. Really? Yeah, I don't, I don't think it's more. I don't know anybody who has spare keys outside their house. Yeah. I do. And I know a lot of people who've gotten locked out of their house. Yeah. <clears throat> That's it? Yeah, I don't think it's as common as you think. I know a lot of people with it. Yeah, well, I guess it's just more of a country thing. Well, yeah. Maybe. Yeah, people in the country tend to be a little more forgetful. Nicer way of putting it, I guess. Oh, uh, we have actually <laughs> nice plan ahead more we, in case we get locked out. Obviously, this question is Back not hair. about Becky. You don't have a next door neighbor, the bug. You got Big Mama. What percentage of women wear hats to hide bad hair yeah. days? How is Big Mama? Oh. Well, like hardly any. Yeah. Did she give birth yet? Well, for Okay, higher or lower. Uh, what percentage mm. of women wear hats to hide bad hats. hair? Yes. Okay. I don't th uh, women don't wear hats. Right? They, they'll just pull their hair back. Yeah. Yeah. I think it might be slightly higher. I fucked up. I pep. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Still wow. better than wearing hats to hide no hair days. Straight. Yeah. Women don't wear hats. Let's see who got it right. There's a lot of women that wear hats. You get points. They're not real women. <laughs> I was waiting for someone to say nice. something. <laughs> Ooh, the president asked us to look this up yesterday. You're guessing pickles. I don't want to know about pickles. The answer's pickle Rick. What percentage of people typically eat the pickle that comes with restaurant sandwiches? Oh, I think like. Oh, I'm not gonna say a number. Yeah, don't say a percentage. <laughs> I think it's actually kind of. I don't eat the tomatoes. The tomatoes are fucking gross. I personally do not eat the pickle. <clears throat> I am a pickle Everyone eater. Else, higher or lower? I so eat the fuck, pickle. Fuck the pickle. This one's tough because I think you're right on the money. Yeah. Maybe slightly lower. I'd be with you. Yeah, I think a little Everyone lower. I think people more. Okay, let's see the know. Right I feel like it's a 50 50 thing. Yeah. Oh. That's a good percentage right there. 63. I'm a good boy. Yeah, that's a good boy. Right. Here's some points. You should always eat the pickle, folks. Pickles are Fuck great. The pickle. pickles. Pickles are gross. Pickles are good. They're so gross. Those are amazing. I hate a pickle now. No. Oh, co-work attraction. Ooh. They gotta be crunchy though. I don't like soft pickles. What percentage of people currently have a crush on someone they work with? Huh. Oh, that's probably decent amount. I, yeah, I think that's gotta be pretty high. But how high? I'm gonna say like six. And how, what level of crushitude is this? Probably at least half sex. I don't think it's a level, I think it's a simple yes or no. You think lower? 
I don't think people are willing to admit it. No. Uh, yeah. And the correct answer is... No yeah. fucking oh, way. Oh, fucking lame. Terrible guess. Yeah, like, no points for that. Fucking bullshit. Let's see who got it right. You really got no points for that. I know, I got fucked. <laughs> She looks like a ballpark, my bud. <laughs> He's angry. <laughs> I took a risk there. I'm like, uh, blow ahead in the lead or just slightly it'll catch up a bit. Ear clean. D man, how clean are your ears? Um, what percentage of people uh, use cotton swabs to clean out their ears pretty much every day? Uh, that's every day. That's a fucking my illness if does. you're doing it every day. Okay, higher or lower? 10%? I think slightly higher, it's like 12. Oh, you guys are gonna be wrong. I'll be way more than that. Oh, oh shit. Once a week is enough for me. I don't enjoy seeing what's in there. Yeah, once a week. Once a week. I do it about every other day. Who got it right? Nice job. Do you use the do you use Q tips? Uh, I either use a Q-tip or I use a tissue. Q-tips are like bad for your ear though. Round one. Yes. Let's yeah, the tissues are a lot safer. Do you clean out your belly button though? Two, here we come. Oh, daily. I get so much fucking lid packed in there, it's incredible. Who's up first? I will say occasionally I will take a Q-tip to my belly button oh, and clean that shit up. That's fucking weird. Don't ask why. What do you Keep mean that's fucking weird. weird? No. Jam it in there and pull that shit out. No. What percentage of people have joined the Mile High Club by themselves? What? Oh, so they what? jacked it in a plane. I was gonna say, yeah, <laughs> is the Mile the High Club by having sex? Um... <laughs> what people have jacked of people off? people jacked off in an airplane. <laughs> Apparently it should, uh, according the score. <laughs> Got it. 17%. In round two, you can now guess much higher or much lower. I hope it's not much higher. Who's jerking off on a plane? You're fucking weird. Maybe they get off in, um... High on the Yeah. I wanna say lower. I wanna say lower. I'm just going something. That cabin air just gets you going. I think All those filthy recycled germs, yes! Whoa! The last of you percentage. just haven't worked up the nerve yet. Oh, I was happened. just under. <laughs> fucking. Um, did everyone go right? lower? Yeah, I did lower. Yeah. Let's see who got it right. Nice job. You I've think seventy percent of people are jacking off on planes? Who's next? People just coming all over the place. What should I search for the old surveillance <laughs> next? Ooh, I know. I think most people are just afraid of dying when they're on the plane. What percentage of people can stop themselves uh, from reading movie that. or TV spoilers when seeing spoiler alert warnings? I, that's gotta be low. That's can all. Can stop themselves. Yeah, I think it's low. I think a lot of people want spoilers. I can't. Oh god, there's the percentage. Jesus, so fucking tiny. Oh, I have a pimple in my face. Mm. Everyone pick higher or lower. I'm gonna say higher. <coughs> People love spoil. I'll I'll admit I spoil okay, shit for myself all the, the time. Right yes, it's you. Holy oh my God. fuck! Holy fuck! It should have been much higher. A lot of people Scorp got it. Scorp's Scorp in the park. Right. I take off with this thing. Points for you. I think I was tied with Sweet Luck. And what have we here? No. Good job. Should put some space. Double points for guessing much higher. Double? Wow, oh, double points? I thought it was gonna be 8,000. Okay, who's up next? <laughs> Alright, I have a good one. Clowns. Oh god. Who's scared of clowns? <laughs> Probably. What percentage of people absolutely without reservation hate clowns? It's gotta be a solid 80%. I don't mind clowns. Fifty percent. What do y'all think? I mean, I'm freaked <laughs> out. I'm freaked out by clowns, but I don't. I don't hate. Hate them. Mm. I'm gonna go higher. Ha! Yeah. Everyone says higher except for one of you. And Surveil says. Let's see. Surveil. Wow. Twenty percent. Oh. Hating clowns. That's so sad. 
<laughs> I thought, okay, I thought I clown hate now. was a lot more. Hate is such a strong word. I know, I thought they were up there with like minorities. Let's see who got it right. Just people just like <laughs> 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 Calm down, Trump. Some just an American. <laughs> okay, computer. What do you have for this one? What am I guessing? Wine corks. It's fucking very specific. How many people keep them? What percentage of people are terrible at removing wine corks in one piece? Uh, one piece. Are terrible? It's a random fucking. Uh, who doesn't destroy their fucking wine corks? Say 42. 42. Not that hard. All right. What do you think? 42 percent of people are terrible at it. Much lower. Hmm. Yeah. Such a random fucking question. I doubt anybody okay, that they ask. Is... Yeah. God oh, damn it! I agree. That number's too low. It's possible our informants were drunk. <sighs> Who got it right? <sighs> Here. No, gonna lose. Yeah, he's fucking demolishing. Who's next? Let's see, what would be good? How about this? Uh, uh. Happy meals. Mm. Happy meals. What percentage of adults order happy meals? No. What percent of what meals are happy? Of people over forty have ordered McDonald's happy meals for themselves. Oh, it's all the east. Isn't there uh, some McDonald's that just won't sell you? No. no, I don't think so. Not gonna not take your money. There are some restaurants where it's like, no, you can't order off the kids' Everyone menu. Else, yeah. That's stupid. Uh, percentage of people have ordered McDonald's for themselves. Let's go lower. Let's go higher. higher. Now let's get to the right Thanks for just rolling the dice. Yeah. Oh my god. We've got our eye on you. Well, like, old people get all the time. See, They'll bring it home for, like, grandkids or Here's something. Some mm, thank you, thank you. But it's not for themselves. But they're, but they're by themselves at the time of order. It's, so it's like they're trying the to. Round. They're gonna eat it. Through sophisticated population profiling, we found the most popular answers to this question. What variety of apple do people prefer? Now let's see the answer. <sighs> so fucking oh, that's an easy one. Uh, I think we had this one last time. No, we had the uh, books. We had books. Uh, so D-Man, you gotta pick three. I'm just picking the three that I know, because I'm assuming those are the three that everybody else knows. That's, yeah, I did too. <laughs> I personally love Gala apples. They are great. I don't know what the fuck Gala apples are. They're oh, more on the sour Let's side. The mm, crispy. Guys don't like Gala's? Most people don't like it. Food. Really? Yeah, I love Gala. Honey crisp. Rice Smith is only good for baking. Let's see who's the head honcho. I learned something about apples today. Why is there so many different types? I'm my second. What's so the fuck? weird? How'd I come in dead ass last? How I get second? <laughs> Congratulations! I was in so second. Apple, you you need to uh, learn up on your apples. I don't fucking <laughs> eat apples. See, that's the first problem you got there. No, fuck that. Fuck apples. Man, I should have won that. <laughs>